Okay, so the first place we're going to is called Hola Vibes Cafe. So we're gonna go and yeah, follow along. We're just gonna walk because we're the way that Charger Beach is, you can walk or cycle. A lot of people ride their bicycles everywhere. So you can either walk or cycle everywhere. So we're just gonna walk. If I had a bike, I wouldn't mind biking. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hi guys. So we're here, it's open, we made it. It was a quick walk. We took off my glass. And you guys can come here for breakfast and lunch. And but it's so cute here. Like the aesthetic of here is really nice and stuff. So guys come along and we're gonna go get some food and stuff. So let's go. It's so windy here. I don't know if anyone's gonna hear me. So I got my tea. Let me show you guys. Okay, I just got green tea, mint tea, and then uh, green tea, mint tea. And then I'm gonna sweeten it. This is different, I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh. No more sugar. Let me just open this. <laughs> Tastes good. So we ordered. The waitress is so sweet, she's so nice. The space is so quirky and nice. I love the aesthetic because it has a lot of greenery, of course. This is the menu. So they have a lot. I noticed down here in Treasure Beach, everything starts minimum at 700. Like food at these restaurants, all minimum start at 700. It's weird. Except like the box food places. It starts typical, 350 for the burger, the burger box and then 450, 500, 600. Or 450, 600. That's the theme I'm getting. At the end, I'll tell you guys how much I'm paying. You got a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I got coconut and banana pancakes. This is so pretty. Hi. Hi. Ooh. This one now is your, your zucchini fritters. Yeah. And this is mango chutney. And oh, it smells so good. Lemon, yes, lemon cream sauce. Oh, okay. So we just dip it in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Right, enjoy. Thank you. Wow, this looks so good. Bon Thank you. Thank you so this is a flitas and we got some sauce. I forget, but this looks this smells good. Like I could smell it from when she was coming. And then the pancakes that I order, and then he got a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. This is the most basic thing here, <laughs> but this is pretty. I'm gonna eat this and try it. My dominant hand. <gasps> this looks so good. What is it? Coconut banana. You wanna try some of this? Yeah, you're gonna try some, but no. Oh, everything fell. We're gonna try it. Let's get a little bit of bananas. This is good. This is my number one spot for food. For breakfast food. Mmm. Mmm. No, this is good. He's even saying his sandwich tastes good. I'm gonna show you guys. Listen, their pancakes are better than the one. Mm. The one I had in Mandeville. Yeah, if you guys haven't watched my video on five places to eat in Mandeville, go watch it. But this, mmm. Did my makeup come off? I think it did. Oh yeah, this piece is good. And then their presentation is good too. And they use like a lot of color in their presentation. Anyways, we're gonna try the flitas. <laughs> I never had zucchini flitas before. Okay. Mmm. No. I want the salad dressing. Let me lower this. Final moment of truth. We're gonna eat the flitas. Let me know what type of flitas you guys have had. Don't try it. You guys had. I had banana flitas. Had the regular plain ones with nothing in it. What other flitas have you had? I had saltfish flitas. What else have you had? Salt. <laughs> this man said salt with us. Yeah, it's a basic. Mm -hmm. I think those are the only thing. Have you had banana before? Yeah, I think sugar. everyone. You had sugar flit? That's that's festival. No? Okay, he said that he had sugar on flitas before. I never heard of that one before. Mm -hmm. Does it taste good? <laughs> Anyways, we have to dip it. Okay, so we have to dip it in one of these. I don't know, I'm just assuming. Or should I ask the lady first? Okay, I'm gonna dip some in the this white sauce and then some in this one. You have to put in the thing. Yeah. Okay, let me try the white sauce first. Okay, at the same time. One, 
Dude, no, no. <laughs> yeah, he did. One, two, three, go. <laughs> I think there's egg in here. No, 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 it doesn't taste bad. Try it again. So for the breakfast, I spent 2300 And then I gave the waitress a tip because she was really nice and sweet. 2300 for two people. I don't want people to think it's just for me alone. Even though I would spend that much on myself for breakfast. But yeah, that's really how much I spent. Hi, party people. Next stop is called Smurfs Cafe. Okay, supposedly they sell the best breakfast here and the lady that's cooking special has been specialized in breakfast for like years, like years, I heard, like a long time. Yeah, so this is it behind me. Tour, let's do a tour. Tour! We just have regular outdoor seating. It's early in the morning, that's why the sun's like this. <laughs> okay, this is what I got. So you guys, I got fever rice. Okay, because they had like only bag teas, and I was like, uh, I'm not a bag tea type of girl anymore. <laughs> okay, I have to mix my own tea here. Oops, they gave me auctions for tea bags, and I was like, mm, never mind, you guys, I like natural type of stuff, but they said they had it, so they gave me, so that's really nice. I was like, do you guys have like fever grass? <laughs> it's so strong, and it smells so good. I spit all the milk, the people's the milk. <laughs> so she gave me fever grass, which is actually really nice, because I feel like a lot of establishments wouldn't have that. So I just got fried dumpling at Aki. All breakfast is 7.50 I think they said. So that's good. That's reasonable. Yeah, I don't know why everywhere I go, I always get Aki and selfish. I don't know, it's just a thing for me. Anyway, so yeah, so supposedly this is the top place for breakfast in Treasure Beach. So supposedly everyone comes here. So I was like, oh, yeah, okay, let's go. The food I would say is like a 6 out of 10. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the best breakfast I because it really isn't. But it's a place that you guys can go. The customer service is good, I'm not gonna lie. And they sell like a lot of omelets. If you want a Jamaican cuisine, you can get Jamaican cuisine. If you want like more Western, they have that as well. Because the person I'm with, they're just having like typical bacon, eggs, bread, and all that. Yeah, so that's it. It's affordable. It's relaxing, it's calm. And a lot of people are just starting to come in. We came earlier, so if you want to avoid the car like me, I don't really like being places where crowd is. I try to go as early <laughs> as soon as they open. Oh. I least you guys have somewhere to eat your breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, and I was saying, as I said in the earlier clip, like you can walk almost everywhere around here. Why not walk? Take a good little walk and stretch your legs. Or you can get a bicycle and stretch your legs that way. That's that for that. I wonder if there's food all over my mouth. Yeah, and we'll see. I'll see you guys later on in the next next spot. Next spot. Guys, I almost left without telling you how much I spent. I spent 1750 for, and that was for two people. So, that was good. And I'm going for breakfast, but I just wanted to add this part in. Um, in case any of you guys need this tip. ATM. They have an ATM here, but it's all the way at Jake's. Jack's brought. Same difference. Um, so I'm, that's what I'm gonna go do. Okay, so here it is. It's a Scotia Bank, though. So I ran out of money, so that's why I have to get more. <laughs> so just pull out enough if you don't have Scotia Bank. Okay, so this is the place. Right, check French Run Bay. Okay, and then once you come here, you drive and then you park over here. So we're here. It's night. We're here for dinner, Frenchmen. So we're walking in. Hi everyone. Everyone's staring at me like they've never seen a girl before. I don't understand. Anyways, I'm gonna order some food. I'm hungry. I'm hungry until my head's hurting me. Ugh. I said hi to Lady, but I'm still waiting. We're just gonna wait for someone to come and give us the menu. Um, I think we just need the menu. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna order some. Oh, they sell breakfast here too, but that's an option. This is how the book looks. I think I'm gonna order some chicken wings as an appetizer first. And then, oh, there's lobster salad. Would you wanna try that? The food here is then to order, so you're gonna have to have a wait. Um, I just ordered orange juice on there. Menus, they have a lot of seafood, they have pizza, they have pastas, 
We have regular Jamaican cuisine. It just is gonna take a while here, so you guys keep that in mind when you guys come here. I wouldn't say it's the fanciest place. If you guys want a fancy place to go to in Treasure Beach, go to Lashings, okay? You guys can actually dress up there and then it's actually like a restaurant at Lashings. So if you want that option, you guys can do that. You guys are gonna have to watch a vlog I'm gonna link right now and I'll link in the description. And then you guys can know more about the restaurant there. I'm not gonna include it in this video. Okay, you guys have to take this into consideration. It's an open concept restaurant, so people are smoking and you can smell the smoke and stuff like that. So you have to keep that into consideration. And then they have like certain days here, like Sundays, they have like uh, music playing and stuff like that. They have karaoke here on another on Thursdays, I think. So you guys can always come here. It's a vibe, but this is like really chill, like laid back, laid back. Like if you want to smoke at your table and eat, you can do that. Yeah. So if you want something that you can dress up, like I feel like I'm too dressed up here. Let me show you guys now. Yeah, so you guys can follow me on Instagram, see the pictures, like them, and stay updated. I post real time on Instagram so you guys can go on Instagram with me. So this is it, jerk chicken pasta. And then someone else got, I like how it's plated though. Rice and peas with jerk chicken. This is good. This is good. Guys, what kind of small local salad is this? The food finally came. It was, it was a while, but. How it looks. Okay, so this one, I think this is my first time having jerk chicken pasta. I may be wrong. I don't know. But all I know is the sauce is good. I'm not really a fan of this type of noodles, but it's okay. I bought um, mudslide. Okay, my total is 4500 The orange juices were $300 each, so I think that's just the standard price around here for orange juice. And um, I just gave her a tip, so I just, it's just five thousand dollars. Would I recommend spending that much here? No, I feel like you should spend that lashings. I even talk about lashings. It's just, it's just good, but their food is good here. So that's that. Let's go on to the next place, okay? Hi guys, so the next place is Diner's Delight. Now this place is where you come to for authentic Jamaican food, box food. So as you can see, it's all your favorite box foods at affordable prices and they have different prices. So you guys can come here if you guys just want to grab and go. And yeah, so let's go in so I can share one of my experiences there with you guys. Whew, hello, we're inside of here. My makeup probably melted off because I'm hot. We're just ordering. I'll show you what we got. They usually have the menu of what they're going to have on the day outside. And you just order. You deliver. The food tastes fine. It's like an affordable lunch option that you guys can get here. And I would recommend it. So why not? Because not every day do I want to spend $3,000, $5,000 on food. Okay? Especially if we're staying here for long periods of time. And then do breakfast here too. Right? So that's what we're waiting for right now. Okay, so. And I'm as well got this for just typical $500. They have different sizes, so you can pick whenever you come here. This is the eating area here. Seating. They're seating here. So diners, delight. Okay, so this is it, $500. Yeah, this is just something cheap, but tastes good. $550, how much? $350, yeah, for that. I mean, there's other things. I keep on getting fried chicken because I want fried chicken. They have other things here. Okay, he sells everything on this. Very nice. Yes, <laughs> thank you. All right, later. He sells things on these guys, and people just buy. This lady just bought. What the? <laughs> guys, I just wanted to come in because it's different down here. If you're from the countryside, you know that it's so easy for you to get, well, let me talk about Spalling's Manchester area. I can't really speak for the rest of the country parts, but Clarendon, Manchester area. Anyways, when you're walking, like it's easy for you guys to buy like uh, tomatoes and lettuce and other fruits and vegetables. Like when you're driving, there's always people selling on the side of the road or I'm currently walking. People selling on the side of the road or you just go to somewhere really close and then you buy. But around in Treasure Beach here, you have to wait till like a bus comes around or a car comes around with someone selling fruits and vegetables that's so lame so you have to wait as i said where i am i'm just used to like driving or walking out somewhere or like someone in the community does like farming and stuff and you can buy it's not really convenient hi guys so we're at our next spot here in the video eggie's bar it's a bar a chill out space a chill out spot for you guys to come to when in treasure beach 
It's right on the beach. It's right on the coastline, so you guys can walk here easily. It's at Frenchman's Bay. As I told you guys, actually it wasn't in this video, but like Frenchman's Bay reminds me of like Seven Mile Beach in Negril because you can literally walk to different different places just along the coastline of the beach. So I like it. Let's go. So I'm just gonna go and order something to drink. Just something simple, easy. I'm not really a drinker. So just something really simple and easy. <laughs> We're just here at Eggies. I hope you guys can hear me. This is like a vibe, a spot, a vibe that you guys have to come to. I'm just overlooking the sea and then there's a bar on the beach here on the sun. You drink, you talk and just watch the views, watch people swimming, watch the fisher runs I'm coming in. It's just a nice vibe here and I just got a drink. Let me tell you guys how much it was. It's just like it's affordable Jamaican bar. So this is only $200 because I add take. If you want straight rum, it's $150 but add the extra $200 and so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for this evening. We're just going to listen to music here and then let's relax. <laughs> This is just um, regular white rum and ting. He makes it good because usually when I make make this myself, it's bitter and tastes bad. That usually when we make our own drinks, some I mean, they taste bad. But this tastes good. Yo, 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 I have to come in here and tell you guys this really quickly. Whenever you guys go to his bar, just make sure he's not raising the price on you because he did it to me. I just want to let you guys know. The drink was like $200. Typical, yeah. And then my drink fell and I went to go get another drink and he charged me $400 for the same exact thing in the same cup so make sure he doesn't raise the price on you guys okay because i don't know which part of jamaica you're getting ting and white rum for four bills which part not my jamaica okay i felt like he scammed me the second time i'm just gonna let you guys know okay <laughs> and if i knew like a local like black bar to promote in this video i would have but if any of you guys know any local black bars that's on the same frenchman's beach i can promote then let me know let a girl know so i can promote them in the next vlog that i do <laughs> even though she didn't drink any but yesterday we were doing shots and yeah, <laughs> I was drinking straight Campari straight and then she was mixing it in with the ting. Guys, the sun's setting. I hope you guys can hear me. And it's a nice vibe. So you're just chilling out and having a good time. You know, talking to people. People come and go here. But yeah, so that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you want more of these videos, I'm going to link other ones that I have on screen here if not subscribe to my channel because i have a lot more videos similar to this and i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you guys liked it bye